Putin now says that they are fighting Nazis in the Ukraine. We have neo-Nazis, uh, Nazis and anti-Semites in some parts of uh, Ukraine, including Kiev. We understand what the citizens of Russian-speaking citizens of East and South of Ukraine are worried about. If they request us for help, we leave the right for ourselves to take all measures to protect the rights of these people and we consider it quite legitimate. So they got the fighting uh, the Nazis and neo-Nazis uh, in the Ukraine. And by the way, again, when you when you gear everything you do to the American low information voter, if you're going to say you're targeting Nazis, there's nobody that supports the Nazis. So if you if you're going to go in and say that there are Nazis and neo-Nazis in there, it's going to be hard to oppose you. Because nobody, there's nobody in the world that likes the Nazis. So Putin now, he's <laughs> Nazis and neo <laughs> I know he's toying with everybody. And here's our old buddy Vitaly Cherkin. Now Vitaly Cherkin was uh, in the Soviet hierarchy. All during the 80s, he's on nightline with Ted Koppel all the time. He, he lived in Alexandria. He worked at the Soviet embassy. He sounded American, except for the yeast in his hair. He looked American. And he was my all-time favorite Russian-Soviet propagandist. I loved Vitaly Cherk, and I even interviewed him once. And he was uh, in New York City at the U.N. He's, he's now Russian ambassador to the U.N. Isn't it amazing? The former head honcho in the communist regime is still a head honcho in the Russian regime. Anyway, he addressed an emergency session of the U.N. Security Council, and this is a portion of what he said. The center of Kiev and many towns in western Ukraine have been taken over by armed national radicals under extremist anti-Russian and anti-Semitic uh, slogans being used. Oh, yeah, see, the Nazis and the neo-Nazis are in there, and they're using anti-Semitic slogans. And so we got to go in there and root them out because the people in Ukraine are asking us to come in and get rid of the Nazis and the neo-Nazis. So let's go now, CNN, CNN. Situation room. Wolf Blitzer is just, they're coming apart at the seams over this. Civil war is breaking out at CNN. In this bite, Christiana Manpour will scold Wolf Blitzer for repeating the Vitaly Cherkin propaganda. Propaganda that you just heard Vitaly Cherkin utter and Putin, that they're in there fighting anti Semites, Nazis, and neo Nazis. Here's the bite. You heard Vitaly Cherkin, the Russian ambassador to the UN Security Council, saying earlier today that at fault for all of this are what he called fascists and anti-Semites in Ukraine right now. To be you continued. know, you've got to be really careful putting that across as a fact. That's what Vitaly Cherkin. He that, may have done. That's what he but said. That is the Russian position. He may have that's done. That's what I was. But pointing are you out. telling me? Are you saying that the entire pro-European Ukrainians are anti-Semites? That is what Christian, the Russians are saying. saying. Now that is so instructive. That right there is so instructive. Here is Christiana Manpour, who actually cares what people think of the people of Ukraine, and, and she's chiding Blitzer for repeating what Vitaly Cherkin said. And Blitzer, well, he said it! He said it! Wolf, do you actually believe? I'm just telling you what Vitaly Cherkin said. He said it! He said it! See, so, there's a natural sympathy for Vitaly Cherkin, former Soviet Union, whatever he says is. And you can you can extrapolate that. Well, well, you know, uh, Barack Obama said he just said. There's no questioning it. There is no, there is no curiosity about it. They're just and Christiana Manpour, um is chiding Blitzer here for repeating. I'm just repeating what he said. It's what he said. He said it. We're a news journalist here. We're reporting what he said. He said, but Wolf, do you actually believe? Come on. And this this continued. It wasn't quite through. Am I saying right. that? No, I'm not. 
But I am saying that that's what Vitali Cherkin said. Right, and, and have we have to be bite. very careful. We'll play it for you. We played it not for you to, earlier. No, no, I song. heard it. Yeah. I heard it. We just, as a network, have to be really careful not to lump the entire pro-European Ukrainians into what we're some not. may I'm well not. be, which are nationalistic and extremist. Christian, so that's what not, I'm saying. We're not, all I'm saying is what Vitaly Jurkin said. He said it, he said it. I'm mentioning something what Vitaly Jurkin said. He said it, he said it. He said it. Okay, so he said it. Big whoop. What is happening here? There are a bunch of wacko conspiracy theories that are behind this. Uh, and it's, it's amazing how, how sticky they are. I mean, people actually glomming onto this. These, uh, these these conspiracy theories about there being a bunch of Nazis and neo-Nazis in Ukraine.